Welcome to a full day of eating in Mykonos. We're staying in Mykonos Bliss in Kalolivadi. Garo fuckies! I keep saying that. So it's the other side. We stayed in Mykonos town last time. This is a nice little location. You've got uh, behind us. Just gonna do it slowly so the lighting picks it up a little bit. We've got Blue Mile and Lohan. We've got a nice view. So I'm just gonna grab a quick, quick coffee and go for some steps. Don't get boring, the view. We're, uh, we're still checking in with Callum on a Sunday. So I've got to do my updates for today, which is week number three or four of the off season. Strict instructions not to lose any weight. So this is why in today's video, I want to go through how we can, how we can continue eating while on holiday. I did, I did do quite an in-depth video on the member site we talked about anabolics when traveling, what to do with nutrition, supplementation, and training as well, manipulations to volume. So, as always, click the link below. I'm gonna finish my coffee, then me and Elle are gonna go for a half hour walk. Cycling shorts just do it, didn't they? Yeah, they? Cycling shorts are the one. Apart from my big fat hips. No, you've got good hips. Right, the plan is to uh, walk down to Blue Mile and, and walk back. Fuck me, I'm sweating. Fuck me. It's a good thing about Greece, it's very, uh, very hilly. Fantastic for hill sprints and, uh, and walks. 5k steps done, off for meal number one now, so pre workout meal. The, uh, as mentioned on the members video, it's always a, a tricky one getting in our protein. So opting for protein and calories when you're in a gaining phase on holiday are usually your best option. So I take away with me a pack of whey. And if I could ensure that I'm getting a, at least 100 grams of protein through whey protein and protein bars or like one protein bar, I can be certain I'm getting at least 50 to 80 grams of protein through food as well, through breakfast and lunch and dinner. So, there we go. Two scoops away with breakfast. Experience the emptiness. Experience the emptiness. I needed to go alone so I could close my eyes and feel. Meu número uno dan. I was uh, doing Kira London and I'm gonna go and train in about an hour, let the food go down. Pitiful excuse for an egg white omelette that, that rehab I said look I need six, might have to do that there tomorrow. But uh, bumped the protein intake up with a couple of scoops away. I, I brought with me my Naughty Boy, two scoops of Naughty Boy, didn't bring any, didn't bring any carbohydrate powders with me, just my supplement to EAAs. So uh, no intra-carb, but I should be fine. I've had a decent serving of carbs pre, pre-training. Feelings again. Like this night. I'm burnt. I'm burnt on one side. The uh, the the the, the, the brollies at Principote aren't that great. They've got holes in them. Don't see the point in them. Welcome to a training voiceover, Mykonos edition. Everything's edition when you're not at home. As I mentioned before, this gym's not too bad. Lacking in leg equipment, but the way in which my program is at the moment with Cal, I only had to take out one exercise, which was the reverse band hack squat. So just uh, stuck in a, a heel wedged front squat to get the quads fired up and all in all, okay, not, not too bad. So when you do go in for upper or, or, or a variant of upper, like a push or a pull, you've got plenty of kit here. I started open up with three sets on the incline, just trying to get that stimulus again because I'm progressing the Cybex incline press quite well at the moment. And uh, I, I saw that machine, but the way in which it's the way in which the uh, the hinges go when you push up and go to the top portion of the movement, it, it drives you out instead of in. So I just had to get my, my wrists and my hands quite close, quite uncomfortable. 
but uh, on that list, not too bad. Went on to some sort of cuff press variation using the 1MR cuffs, a fantastic cuff. Not too sure what Josh is doing in terms of pre-orders. I think he's doing a, another one. But they are, they, they, I, had, I had really narrow ones before and as I was progressing weight, it kept dig it cutting my, my upper and lower arms in quite badly. These are, these are nice. I never did use the aero sling ones, so yeah, these are, these are brilliant. Good job, good job. Did a, a little four by four set here just to, to drive some blood into the chest. Generally don't train too much volume for chest as it is one of my stronger areas compared to, uh, to other body parts. They do have a D-handle lap pull down plate loaded in the back like as you as you walk straight into in front of you and they rotate quite nicely almost like a nautilus at, at crayford but someone was on there so i just opted for a d handle using a straight bar couldn't find a, an easier bar attachment which usually i find is a, a little bit nicer when when running a lap pull down with d handle but uh the bar was okay didn't really slip off there's, there's two lap pull downs here both facing each other could always opt for something like a, a a rack pull if you wanted to as well. Whack some D handles round the round the bar. There's a there's a second area in this particular gym that's more so for leg equipment. The lion hamstring curl is fantastic. The way in which it's up, which is sort of like arch like that, is, is perfect. Really, really nice. Uh, I think there is another gym in Mykonos town near sort of Koya called Pump Gym. I think it's called which is tiny, it's it, we poked our head in, it's, it's so small, but the equipment is fantastic. So maybe try and get a session in there at a, a, a quieter time. I was training here about 9.30, 10. Went on to what looked like a, a kind of like a Cybex row, thinking that the, the angle would come down, but uh, it, it, the way in which it was positioned, it forced you to come up a little bit. So working more upper to mid back, uh, I, I put the chair right up, so as you can see where the pad should usually be on the chest it was on the stomach so a couple of sets on, sets on that so then to finish i just went on to some uh some bent over barbell rows really, really to, to drive some blood into that lower portion of the back uh, and, and getting that bar as close to the belly button as possible did a, a couple of, of muscle rounds here but all in all we're like a really nice gym they're, they're, they're bang on it they're making you wear face masks it looks like people in Dubai that are training that. You, you people have got face masks on, but they're just resting them on their chin. It's like they're not really using them. I didn't know if I should put them up. When I was doing my cuffed presses, I kind of put it up, but yeah, they They give you a, a towel as well to wipe things down, which is good. I think Crayford are starting to do that soon as well. Like you give a pound to uh, the reception at Crayford and they hold that and they give you a cloth because they're going through so much like toilet roll at the moment. Onto some shoulders now. This particular machine, it, it, horrible doing them, doing them dual. Both of them just drive the shoulder too far, too far out. So in, in this situation, if you can align it and get closer to one pad, then it's okay. Even that, it, there was hardly any. It was dropping off so much uh, at, at the bottom portion here. It was kind of just working in that range there, which isn't too bad. I should have just done some cuff work, but no, it was so hard to get a bench. There's no way I could have got a bench in. There's a guy doing some. Uh, abs here to get a bench into any sort of lateral cuff work could do some dumbbells if we wanted to this is a really nice bicep curl bicep curl machine was like an integrated ez and uh, went on to some triceps i did bicep tricep bicep i was about to join harry Maguire in in prison this geezer man i mean it, it, you know when you get that feeling that they could see the camera was there so they walk in front of it on purpose and so i, I was just thinking what's going on here like and me and Slab had having to take on like Greece here, <laughs> you know, do you not like us? Bit of an atmosphere with this fella in here, you know. <laughs> I'm just getting a bit angry thinking about him. <clears throat> no, to be honest. No, I'm in there, Jim. But all I'm saying is, look, it's clear that the camera's there. Went on to some tricep work. They did have uh, two ropes, should have done two. But, uh, just a bit angry, this guy is with these geezers here. So, uh, did one set, eight to 12, two sets, 12 to 15 for tricep rope extensions. And then we finished with another bicep. 
feeling quite strong at the moment. This is week number four. It's like the, it's like my geary week, I call it. I'm checking with Carl last week, and I was like, I feel like I'm back on the gear. It's been, well, this since December last year, and I've been at that 14, 14 nanomolar of testosterone, and, and we'll get our bloods done soon. But I, I feel now we're back up into that range, that super physiological range that I can. I, everything feels, and you know when you're like on a blast, and like 20 key plates feel light and. Took the, the 20 kilo dumbbells for a spin here for some bicep curls and everything felt nice, you know, good connection. So, yeah, in a good position. Ready to go home now though, ready to get back into the routine, start training with Josh and Joe again. But uh, that is the, the training commentary done. Training completed. The only intro I had was my one scoop of uh, supplement needs EAAs. So no carbohydrate powders with me. So uh, there is a, if you are training at Bodyworks Mykonos, opposite is a really nice uh, brunchy kind of place called Rehab. So pancakes, eggs, I think they do some salads in there as well. Quite nice coffees, smoothies. Yeah, foamy egg whites. Yeah, that's the only problem. The egg whites are like foamy, it's not like a proper omelette. So maybe you get the scrambled eggs. We're just going to go down to one of the beach clubs. There's two by us, there's Low Hands, and I think the other one's called Solimar. So at the moment I'm trying to get uh, high carb, high protein, lower fat for meals one and two, and then in our evening meal, I tend to bump my, my fats up a little bit. So let's go on down. Let's, let's go on down and have a look what they've got. Splendid lunch. It's definitely going on the uh, definitely going on the Mykonos cheat sheet part two. So uh, not too many. I'm out of breath. Not too many carbohydrates in that meal, so I had a, I topped them up with a little bit of sushi, but I'm lacking a little. So increase the food tonight. Nice bit of chicken though. Good protein hit. And then what I'll do in a couple hours time is I'll have one or two scoops of the whey. And then we're going to Buddha Bar tonight. Everything's like 20 minutes away. It's like 20 minutes away. But the Aegean taxi, the, when we come out here last time using the, the, the app, it was a lot cheaper. Obviously probably bump, bump the prices up because they need to re-inject some money into the economy. <gasps> Dinner time. We, uh, I had the, uh, I had a, a toffee, USN toffee crisp protein, but on a scoop away. Because if I didn't have that, I'd be hangry. Going to Buddha Beach Bar for dinner, which was kind of like Tokyo Joe's yesterday, but I need to switch it up a bit. Got some, uh, some fish and carbs. Hey, maybe dessert. Tonight we're wearing the preview two, two, two piece. High waisted style. It's nice. Big fan of uh, this particular material. Right, let's order a cab. I needed to go alone so I could close my eyes and feel feelings again. And that, ladies and gents, my friends and family, that concludes the full day of eating Mykonos edition. Hope you can take some uh, some tips when, when going on holiday, or just ignore it and enjoy yourself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had about four scoops of whey protein and a protein bar, so taking me to that 100 gram protein intake and then made some decent food choices with some beef in the evening, some chicken, for lunch and some eggs, barely any eggs at, uh, at, at breakfast. So I probably probably topped me off around about that 160 maybe. Okay, 
the rest of the Mykonos vlog, the Mykonos vlog will be out in a couple of days time. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it now. My neighbors are in, so I'm gonna do a very quiet, thank you, good night. <laughs> Much love. I was to do is to dive into my ocean.